Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these super cute and easy octopuses. They are very quick and uh, easy to make and also this uh, pattern involves no sewing. Also I'm going to show you how to make those facial features, how to crochet or embroid on eyelashes and the mouth. So for the small one I'm using this yarn, this is from Paintbox, this is 100% acrylic. For the big one I'm using a uh, this yarn from Hobby, this is 100% cotton, this is worsted weight yarn. If you want a smaller octopus, you can use a 3mm crochet hook and if you want a bigger one, you can use a 3.5mm or 4mm. You will need filling materials, scissors and a tapestry needle. My name is Rangnil and I like to make amigurumi patterns, so please follow if you want to see more of this. And also you can visit my blog for the written patterns. I wish you lots of fun with this one. Also you can check out Creative Fabrica. This is a fan page where you can get extra benefits. If you are a member you will get access to my PDF patterns and lots of other fun stuff. I'm going to leave links below to everything, the materials I'm using and all the social media. And if you're making an octopus, make sure to share a picture of Instagram with me. You can find my link in the com comments below. So first of all, we're going to make a slip knot. So here's how to make a slip knot. You just twist the yarn around your finger and then you pinch here and then you go here in the middle and grab the yarn. So, and now just tight here, make it a little tight here. So now we are going to chain 15. So yarn over and just pull the hook through the chain there. Like so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. So now we have a chain here and now we're gonna work in uh, in those chains here. So you're just gonna insert the hook in the, in the second chain from the hook. Here is the first. This is where you are and here is the second. So just go in there and then grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Now you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. That's a single crochet and we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch. And uh, when I was a beginner, it was always hard to see where the next chain is where. And so here is the chain where you are. You kind of see here the little stitch and you just go into the next one like so and then do your single crochet. So we're just going to do those single crochets across in each chain. So you're going to end up with 14 single crochets because we made 15 chains and it curls up. This is normal. I have three chains here at the end. One, two, and here's the last one. Three. And now I just pull there a little bit and now we can count. We're gonna count those V's here. We're not counting the chain one here, but here you start. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and 14. So those are the chains we are going to work with and if you want to you can just put a stitch marker here and also here so you know where your or after this one so you know where your chain starts and ends or where your row. So chain one here and turn and now we just going to work one single crochet in each stitch across. So we have 14 just go there and then like here, one single crochet in each stitch. Here is my last stitch, so just go there and then do your single crochet. Chain one and turn. So now this is how it looks. So if you want to, you can also change color whenever you like. When you want to have a nice color change, you just make the last single crochet here and don't finish it, just grab the yarn here and pull up a loop. Now you just grab the new yarn, just grab the new yarn and like pull through and then chain one with the last. Then you get a nice color change. I'm not going to do this with this one. 
but if you want to play around with different colors you can do that so now we're going to chain one and turn and now we are going to increase in the first single crochet and in the last single crochet so just to increase you're just going to do two single crochet in that first stitch here this is the same stitch where the chain one is so one and then two now one single crochet in each stitch across until the last one where you're going to do two single so here's my last single crochet and i'm going to do two single crochets there now you should have 16 single crochets so here count one two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen now chain one and turn now we're gonna do two rows with one single crochet in each stitch so one single crochet in each stitch for two rows so one and then also this one now chain one and turn and the next round uh, sorry the next row this is row six this is an increase row so increase in the first stitch Go show and then one single crochet across and increase in that last stitch here is the last stitch so two single crochets there and now you should have 18 single crochets and you are finished with the increases now so now you're gonna work three rows with one single crochet in each stitch and I will do my three rows of camera and I will meet you afterwards and row 10 one chain and turn, uh, chain one and turn now we are going to decrease in the first stitch and in the last st stitch and because we are working in rows I'm not going to do an invisible decrease I'm just going to do a normal decrease and to do that you just go in there to the first single crochet and then you grab the yarn and pull up a loop now leave the loops on the hook you go into the next one you grab the yarn and pull up a loop now you have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops like that and now you have a decrease and now we're gonna single crochet until we have two stitches left so 13 and four, 14 stitches between and now here is our two stitches here left so just do a decrease there as well chain one and turn now you have 16 single crochets you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch for this row this is row 11 now round uh, sorry row 12 is exactly like row 10 decrease in the first stitch single crochet across decrease in the last stitch And here decrease in the last stitch chain one and turn now for this row we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch and you should have 14 single crochets chain one and turn and now the last three rows once decrease in the first stitch single crochet across and decrease in the last stitch so when you're finished with row those rows you will have six eight single crochets left but here's this one this is 14 and you're gonna one single crochet here across and decrease in the last stitch here and then decrease and I'll repeat this two times decrease in the first and in the last single crochet across chain one and turn and then repeat one more time on this panel we're going to cut the yarn and on the next panel we're going to make the face and just because it's more convenient you're not going to cut the yarn on that panel so do another panel and i will meet you afterwards now i have placed safety eyes between rows three and four and i have six stitches apart and i haven't attached the back side yet because i wanted to show you how to make eyelashes i already made it on one side so you go here behind 
here and you go under the, the eye here up and then you just go here to the side like so or maybe a little higher up because so we will match the other side it doesn't have to be a hundred percent identical but a little bit maybe so I'm just gonna go up there a few rows and then you go back through the same and then you just go back here again and then try to be on this side of the like so and then you just make the other one like so maybe so just try and see what looks nice maybe this is a little low so I'm gonna put it a little higher like so and now when you're done you can attach the back part you just press against the surface and you go like so I'm, I'm not gonna press too much because then it will like disappear too far into the yarn and now you can just you know attach this with a knot or something Okay, so now we are, oh, we need to make the mouth, so to, to make the mouth, you just go here in the middle, like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, just gonna go there and make a little V here, so just go down one stitch and one up again and see if that looks nice. So just try until you're happy. Okay, so I made a new mouth a little bit lower. So I'm gonna keep this one. Yes. Okay, so now you just also make a little knot. And now you have two panels and you're just gonna lay them on each other. And then you can chain one here if you want to, or chain one there and then you're gonna lie them like this so we have you're just gonna single crochet those panels together so just go through both sides and then do single crochets so I'm just crocheting over this tail as well because I'm lazy like that and now you just go around the whole amigurumi like this so this is a nice thing with this pattern is this is that it doesn't include any sewing so it's nice so I'm just gonna go around the whole thing here and um, just do one single crochet in each stitch in each row And I'm not increasing anywhere. So here on the corner, I'm just gonna do one. And before you close, you need to remember how to, and you need to remember to stuff. And I'm gonna continue here and I'm gonna meet you when I'm, I'm there so we can stuff the octopus and now we are ready to add some stuffing and so just put small chunks in there at a time and uh, you don't have to overstuff just a little bit on these types of patterns on this like flat ragdoll patterns I I don't put too much stuffing in So 
So this is enough, I think. And now you can just close it. And I'm going to show you a nice trick on how to make a nice, how to avoid that knot. So you get a nice finish. So here we are crocheting those panels together. I love this pattern because it's so quick to make and it's great gift for babies, for example. So now cut the yarn. And then, so I'm, I'm finished here. I'm just put the, pull the, the yarn, the needle through, and then you grab your tapestry needle. So you just, I just go into the first stitch here, like so. And then I go back again through that last one. So now you can see the end here. I'm just gonna, Yarn, and now we just need to make those tentacles. You can also use a different color here if you like. So I'm just gonna go with pink, just because it's easier to see. Now you can attach the yarn here with the slip knot, the hook. Here you count your stitches, so we have 14. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that means we have to go through that one because we want eight tentacles. So here is the first one. Just go here and gonna grab the yarn and then do a slip stitch. And now you can you do your chain. So however long they should be, I'm gonna do seven two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I'm just gonna slip stitch my way back here. So go into the second chain from the hook. Here is the first, here's the second. Let's go there and do a slip stitch. Also in the next one. And in the next one. So all the way down here and here is the last chain. And now you want to go into that base single crochet here from the, you crochet the panels together and then you slip stitch into the next and into the next. So slip stitch here two times and now you can do another tentacle. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and now you just do the same. You slip stitch your way down here. Here and now slip stitch down there again and then into the next and into the next and now you start again so you're going to repeat this until the you have eight one two three four five six and seven here into the base and one and two and then you start with the next so now i have three four five six seven and eight so just repeat this and then we'll meet you afterwards so i just made tentacle number seven I slip stitched my way into the base and now i'm gonna do the last one here on the side so seven three four five, six, and seven, and then we're gonna slip stitch our way back. Oops. And now we can finish this off. And now just weave in the ends and your little octopus is ready. So, but this is how it looks when it's ready. So this is the first one I made and uh, I really hope that you like this pattern and make sure to share a, share a picture on Instagram with me so I can see your work. I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.